Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm GS Gamer SV, and today I'm doing another Beyblade video. I know, probably getting sick and tired of these, and it's really dark, and I don't like it. But we're back with it again. So, not sure if you watched my if you watched my tournament video, then you know who's the best to who's the worst. If you don't know, I'll explain to you right now. Putting them in order. I'm pretty sure. We're not gonna count you. I just brought you for reasons. Pretty sure that was the order. Drain Fafner won the tournament in second place. Came Green Drain Fafner, then Spring and Requiem, Nightmare Longinus, God Valkyrie, Z Achilles, and Bloody Longinus. Well, here's the thing. That was in a big stadium. But I wanted to see how well they would do in a small stadium. Big stadium, it re you relied more on stamina. And obviously, when it comes to Bloody Longinus, stamina it's, is not its specialty. So yeah, when when it comes to the big stadium, you rely on stamina. But when it comes to the small stadium, you're you're um you're attacking more. So you want to focus more on like attack and bursting the other opponent as fast as you can. So I did that, and the results were not much different. But a uh, little surprise. Here are the results. Okay, and then you would go here, 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 there. Those were the scores. Drain Fafner, not surprising, came in first. One of the reasons why it's not surprising, because in the small stadium you rely on bursting your opponent as quick as possible because it's a small stadium you're hit, you're hit, you're hitting each other a lot but the thing is the golden train fafner's clicks are super strong so this guy cannot burst even better it's stamina so this thing was a boss in the big stadium and the small stadium we have spring and requiem in second nightmare longness in third v god valkyrie in fourth Bloody Longinus in fifth, which is really surprising. Drain Fafner in sixth, that's also extremely surprising. And you in seventh, which is not that surprising. So, here's why. Reason why he came so up is because, yes, this thing lacks stamina, but in that battleground, stamina isn't your biggest worry. You need attack. And this guy was pretty decent at attacking. Also, the reason why he came in like such a low place because he bursts so easily. So does him, but he bursts more easily. I mean, no, you that one bursts more easily. This one held on a bit tighter. Okay, I can't do it. Actually, you know, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay. So, but what does that mean? Then who's the best then? Is he really bad or is he, re is he really good? So that's why I made a decision of the overall score. Obviously, you're in first place because you came in first place twice. You're second place, third place. Since you came second best and second worst, they're going to be smack in the middle. So you have like a 50-50 chance. You're here. The thing is... I don't know who's better, Z Achilles or Bloody Longinus. I really don't know. They in the big stadium, Z Achilles wins over Bloody Longinus, and the small stadium, Bloody Longinus wins over Z Achilles. So I really don't know um, who's who's the real winner here. I don't know. So. I know Bloody Longness came in like a farther place in, in total. Like, 
he came in fifth place and last place, but Z Achilles came in sixth place and last place, so Blake Longus would be better. But no, it's just because um, Drain Fafner wasn't that good. But if it was between these two, these two are tied. Well, Drain Fafner wasn't even good in a close-range stadium. These two are really tied. So it comes down to who has, like, a better, um, like, ability or something. And set... That didn't happen. But as much as I want to give Bloody Longness the win, because he he's just bad overall, so I actually want to give him a win for once, I'm going to have to give it to Z Achilles. But they're both super easy at bursting, but Z Achilles is easier to burst, hence why he won in the close-range battle. But the rubber tip isn't just going to cut it, and the height changes isn't that much of a difference. Well, Z Achilles... The 8 disc, Z Achilles has the 8 disc, Bloody Longness has the 13 disc. The 8 disc is much heavier than the 13 disc, and you can switch modes from attack and defense, which, which can be really helpful at times. So, like, they're tied, but overall, like, the gimmicks of these two Beyblades, it has to be Z Achilles to take the lead. So, this is the score overall of both stadiums. Drain Fafner in first, no surprise. Spring and Recreum in second, Nightmare Longness in third, nice. Drain Fafner, Green Drain Fafner in fourth, God, Valkyrie in fifth, come on, man, why? Z Achilles in sixth, and Bloody Longness in seventh. We don't care about you, you can just go hide under there. But that is going to be it, guys. I don't know if you guys so much for watching. That's just the total score. I'm probably not going to do any more Beyblade videos. If you want me to, I could. But I run out of ideas. So leave a comment down below if, to tell me if what I should do something. But I don't think that's so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video. Bye.